as well. Right, gents. Topic breaking lines. So you're going to get in teams of three. So a three there, three reds, three yellows, three reds, three yellows. Great, you're over with Jay today, mate. All right. Okay. You can see it marked out on there. You can see it re relevant on the board. Got me? Go and stand by, bib. Stick it on quickly. There we go. Right, so you're locked in to your areas. Okay, so reds, that's your little area there. Yellows, reds, yellows. Happy with that? Put it on, Max. Happy with that? Yes? Good. All we're going to do to start off with nice and easy is I'm going to play the ball into yellows. Yellows, you've got to keep it and try and play between the lines through the reds into your yellows. So literally, you're out of the game until you win the ball. First couple of minutes, just so you get a feel of what to do. Does that make sense? What do we mean by breaking lines? Good, but at the moment, passing, dribbling, through balls, running with the ball, brilliant. But at the moment, you're locked into your area. So what's the main majority going to be of breaking lines? It's going to be passing. Yes? Ready? Play. Good, Ed. Play up. No one said it couldn't. Just knock it off, Will. Good lad. Brilliant, Reggie. And relax. Straight away, what have we noticed? hard to get through so you're gonna have to take a, a bit of a risk okay if you move the ball and your south quickly what's going to happen it's probably going to give you more opportunity to find those little pockets and those gaps to play through so have a think about that yep you've answered that pockets of space move yourself and the ball quickly take risks Trust your te technical ability passing the football. Well done. Good. Can we work it out, Matty B? Good. Now can you keep it, Reds? Spot Toby, well done. Casual touch, missed that. Well done, clever Jenko, great tempo. Well worked out. Yellows, I like the tempo. Good, Ed. Basics, brilliant. Playing to Nath. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a chance of a risk or reward. So what you can do now is if yellows are keeping the ball in this area here and they're moving it, they're unopposed. It's a bit false, isn't it? So one of you reds can come out of that block if you want. So Toby, come out. But then what happens to the block? It becomes stretched and it becomes less. And so now you need to make your decision, Ed. If one comes out. What you're going to do, and then if you're the attacking team, Matty, what are you going to do? Can you play round him? If you get past him, what have you got more? More space. Yes? Does that make sense? So if it's in Jack's one there, one yellow can pop in there. If it's in this one here, Jack, yep, pop it into Simon. One red can come in here. Red, uh, yellows, if it's in this one, one yellow can go in there. Are you with me? Yeah? Play. It's up to you. Your choice. Risk or reward.
When do you go? Do you go? Your choice. Great pass, Simon. Good weight, mister. Just about got away with it, Max. Remember what we said about staying on the move as well as the football? Game over, play. Good, Marley. Great feet. Relax. Good time to go from Nathan. So when would the times be going? I know we're looking at breaking lines, but on the defensive aspect, when would be the times to go? Bad touch, bad pass. Back to play, yeah? What do we say, how do we try and play in the first three seconds sometimes? Right around in the first three seconds. So if that pass goes, transfers over to Max now, you might take, you might take it in Tobes go, do you know what, we're gonna go for the first three seconds. Because that'll affect Max how? Pressure, does that make sense? I just want you to do this quickly. Red's coming there, red's going there, yellow's going there, yellow's going there, quick. We're playing a three, two, one. When the time's right. Clever, Nate, but if you overcook it, look what happens. Good, Nate, that's fine. Brilliant, yellows have got it. Good choice, Nathan, good angle of approach. Did that go into your foot? Reds have got it. Oh, you've hit the GoPro. You're in trouble. Take care with these weights. Good choice, Toby. Just knock it off, Ed. Thanks, mate. Jack, what area are you in? Jack. Don't force, Tobes. Okay, relax. Two in a row, straight away there, yes, Nate. I'm telling you on one hand, and you're saying to take risks, and then the other hand, I'm saying don't force it. So you see how it's a fine line? Yes? Make sure you understand what you're going to do before you receive it. And we say paint one picture ahead. The best one I've seen so far is where's Jenko? Brilliant one. Because he knew Simon playing it, and he knew that it was still split, and what did he do straight away? Bounce back. But he could only do that if he did what? And think one step ahead. So he knew that ball's coming to him and he knew, do you know what, I can play in there. The same as those ones where Simon, yes, in the game where you go, what, I'm going to play around the corner there because I know he's there. Paint the picture, manipulate people and the football. So I might drop Matt short a little bit here because I know he can come onto the ball and play first time. Use your noggins a little bit. Yes, play. Good, Nath. That was the right choice, Nath. Well done. Good. When's the time to go, Reds? You decide. Good, Nathan. It's a great pass. Will, tremendous. Good spot. Right time to go. Good. Well done, Nath. Clever, Reggie. Reggie, well done.
Good, relax. Clever. Yep, Nath. So a bit of a standstill here now. Because there's no end product as in the goal at the moment. Clever. So we're playing sideways. Are we a threat to you at the moment? No. So are we going to force it? Did we force it? No. So then somehow at some point we're probably going to have to go forwards. Because in a minute the goal is going to be introduced. Okay. So how do we get through that block? Rotations, yep. Yeah. How else? What did you do there? Shape up there and then do what? So a bit of a disguise or a fake, brilliant. Any other way? Has anyone told you you can't do that? So if you can't go through, you might go, and if you can't go through or over, you might go round. But if you're gonna go round like we looked at last night, you're gonna have to do it what? Because if that transfers slowly, what's going to happen? And they've got a great defensive shape. Does that make sense? Yes? The other thing now that I'm going to let you do is you can dribble with it. Okay? So whether that's an opportunity to run with the ball and no one's in your way, or risk and reward, I might go, do you know what? I think I've got the beating of Alex. I'll take him on. And I'm through. If I get through, good. Keep it. Yep. And then as I've come in here now, what would I expect one of the other yellows to do in a game? Fill in and then go into there. Yep, so if I was coming through here, Nathan, you weren't involved in play, I'd expect you to go and fill in for me in there. Happy with that? Two minutes of this and then the goal's getting introduced. All right? Play. Your choice. How would you break those three down? Got away with it, Ed. Open that voice, Will. Tell him that yeah, you're there, sorry. We're playing. Hello, mate. Right, over with Jay for me. Start off with top man. Good for taking a risk, Jack. Well done. Good. Stay on the move, though, Will. Once you play, think about what you can do after you've played. Brilliant yellows are playing through you now. What might you have to do? Play from there, Max. Clever, Reggie. Really clever. Watch that goal. Lots more success now. Risk or reward, think about how you're gonna get through. Tempo's good. I like your idea there, Jack. Nathan, what a great touch that is. Reds, what might we have to do? Good, Jack. Might be good, Reds. Well worked out, yellows. You might have to apply a little bit of pressure, Reds. When the time's right. You pick when the time's right. Good, Jack. Red Bull, play well. Last minute. Red Bull again, Will.
and relax. Collection of balls here for me. Quick drink and then we're back in. Leave your bibs on. Thanks, mate. I like Jenko, how's it going? I like. Just leave it over there by the kit bag. Thanks, Pa. Okay, so from that first 15 minutes, key things from that, you tell me. Risk and reward, yeah, what do you mean by that? Yeah, good. Who makes that decision? Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you might get influenced by other players off the ball, but it shouldn't be me telling you what to do, should it? You guys decide what goes on. Yes? What else? Forcing it would come under risk and reward, wouldn't it? Yeah, so keeping one step ahead and having a bit of innovation or a bit of improvisation in your play, definitely. Brilliant. So on the defensive aspect of it, again, it becomes a risk of reward of, well, do I go, do I not go? Yep. Which will come in, uh, in more apparent now when we go with the goals. Okay, here's the game. Set up exactly the same. You can still drive through with the ball now rather than pass. So now to break a line that we're looking at, it doesn't need to be a pass. It could be run with the ball, it could be a dribble. And also now you're going to be able to break the last line, which is what? the goal line, the shot, yes? So, here's how we're gonna go. If reds are on the ball, they're gonna play in here, so the reds will always be shooting that way. So if they're in this half here, in this quarter here shot, sorry, they're in the defensive quarter. So they've somehow got to get the ball into there, yes? They've then got to get it back out, and then if, it, if you can transfer it again back in, then they can turn and it becomes half a pitch, and you can play 3v3 in there. Does that make sense? Now that's quite confusing. So. These defenders can join in, they, those defenders can't, not at the moment, good question though. At the end, if we get it, because it's quite complex at the moment, if we get it, we'll definitely do that, Reg. Right, so Blues, play in. Get the keepers at the moment, because you can play with outfield. Play in, yep, play back. If it goes back in, you can turn, and then the pitch becomes in half, and it's 3v3. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yep. Does that link to the way that we try and get you to play by playing out from the back? Yes? Let's go. Come on, you, will ya? So, from that side, which way are red shooting? Good, yellows? Oh, we're putting the defenders in the defending slot and the strikers in the striker slot, look. Come on, you, I'll give them all the reds. Keep thinking about the things you were doing really well. Good, if they get back in, it's a 3v3. Brilliant, well played, yellow ball. Clever, Nath. Okay, relax. Relax, go back to Nath. Looking in both aspects, great innovations, attacking to go over, brilliant. Was the ball in the air a long time? Was it loopy, was it lofty? Might be a trigger for Reds to do what? Yeah, think about it, play on. Don't stop doing it though, Nathan, if it's on.
Good. Take a risk if you've got a Marley. Play from there, Reg. Great feet, Nathan. Game over. Game over. Yep, ball please. Oh, where did that ball come from? Play. How do you react, Matt? What's your transition like? Good, relax there, Jack, get on the ball. Jack's the only one to do it at the moment. What's Jack doing? Do you know? He's brilliant. So he's used his noggin, he's been a bit clever with the rules. There's not many rules, but the one is that you can dribble past whatever you want through there, correct? So go back for me. So in your head at the moment, you've got, I've got to pass through here, or I've got to take on the whole team and dribble. What does Jack do? Because that's the way he plays. He'll come in here off the front foot, then what happens? He affects these three. How? How are you going to do this? What, what, whatever you want to do. Brilliant. Now what's happened? Yeah. Right, so then if it's not on, what does he do? Good. Wait. If he transfers that ball quick enough, what could happen? Could get out that way. As they start moving, come on, side. Ours moving, you might get something in there like that, etc. Yes? Take off the shackles. Yes, play. Simon Kowalowski. Play. Ah, there we go. Good. You can score 3v3. Unlucky. My, all came from what? Will tempting them by coming forward and drawing them in. Yes, play. Look after it, Matt. Risk or reward. Good, Nath. Good. You've unlocked it. Oh, yeah, that's got it again. Unlucky deal with it. Great first time pass. Thinking one step ahead, Max. Yeah, unlocks again. 3v3. Oh, might have been a free kick ahead, I reckon. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Change, change the game again, Matt. What can you do? Where can you go? And relax. Reg, what was your rule that you brought in? Okay. So now, when it goes into 3v3, the attacking team can have an overload of one by bringing one runner from deep. And we're going to call it Reggie's Rule. Rhymes. It's good, isn't it? Okay. Make sense? Play. Nice. Good angles, Nath. Well done. Good feet as well, mister. Brilliant. It's unlocked. Good, from deep, Reg, clever. Well played. Well 
played. Good, you're back in now, yellows. Well done, Reg. What would we want off a of red? Ah, relax. Ah, relax. Ah, relax. Ed, go back where you were, mate. Go back where you were. I'm being over quick till here. Go in. So you've got the overload there. What would I expect one of the reds to do now? Bearing in, bearing in mind we've, we're aiming to go that direction, but we've got to go back there. We need someone to drop in and recognise that. Does that make sense? Probably was you, because he was looking at passing them. Striker syndrome, isn't it? Doesn't want to get back in defence. Play! There'll be a chance we can get back out, Jack, I'm sure. Good, you've unlocked it. Jack, join in if you want. There you go. Game over. So now you might go ahead, get back in your centre half and let me go back up front. There you go, see? See? Clever that. Great pass, Ed. Good little pocket, Will. Good, Nathan. Good choice. Great in transition, Ed. You've unlocked it. Brilliant, Nathan. Yep, unlocked. Next one. Challenge someone to take them on by dribbling through. When the time's right, I challenge one of you. Max has gone already, look. It's gone early, it's unlocked. You're in, 4v3, gotta be. What's it come from? Max taking what? A risk and breaking a line with a dribble. Yes, Tobe. That makes sense. Look at me, he's well happy with himself. He's so chuffed. Play. I see it. I let it go, see if you could get out of it. But how many people can go in at the moment? It's one of the only rules of the game. Only one can go in. How many was in? Play. From deep reds, good Ed. Great spot, Jack. Look after that technique under pressure, Nath. Good, tempt him, tempt him. Great pass out. Max, well done, last night's session, well done. Good idea, Nath. Great transition, though. Good recovery, both of you, Will and Nathan. Well done, you two. Good scrap. Reggie. He's got to go back to go forward. Well 
Now you've unlocked it. And relax. Can you come? Here's what I want you to do. Grab the cones up. Just move the two goals off there. And then I need all the footballs in both goals. Quick drink, and then we'll go to the next part. All right? All done. Yeah, and the flats. Just the ones that we've used. Pop them in the kit bag. Connected, didn't you? Oh, 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 oh. Um, Tobes and Alex. Nathan, give your bib to Toby. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. So can you put the red one on? Toby and Alex, can you put the green bib on? Or oh, actually, no bib's fine. Just have no bib. No bib's fine. Nate, if you need to, Nate, Nate, if you need to get into a red. Please, mate. Edward turns. Leave him in there, Reg. <laughs> Gonna test you. Session's on. Right. So that's looking at probably the build-up of breaking lines, playing out middle third of trying to pass through. Now, and we had a little bit of end product. Now you're gonna, you're gonna bring it forward even further up the pitch. Now the, the main breaking of line will be, what do you think? Shooting. Finishing, yep. As well as passing, and that final, what we call, you know, we call the red zone, in those little pockets where you try and feed that last ball through, bit of disguise that we spoke about. Okay, here's how we set up. So Alex and Tobes now in goal. There'll be three in, in one half in here of one team, so let's go reds, three reds, and then there'll be two reds in the other half. And that will mirror exactly the same for the yellows. Happy? Set that up so we picture it. Okay, so, should be a three, if three yellows in there, if that's defensive. So three yellows, two yellows in this half. Come on, let's go. Gents, come on. Three yellows and two. Listen, you'll have the chance to rotate rounds, not a problem. So I need three reds in there. Nathan and Ed, brilliant, two in there. Nathan, fine there. Just come that way a little bit so we paint the picture. You happy with that so far? Yes? So Toby is in goal for who? Thank you. Red goalkeeper. Yes? Here's the game. Out ball, please. It's going to link to everything that we've just done. So one of the things we said in there was always make sure what? You, you've got a picture and you're thinking one step ahead. So here's the game. Overload of 4v2 in here, including the keeper. Can you manipulate the ball to get a shot off, to break a line? So for instance, if we get a picture like this, if we went Will, and we suck Simon in a little bit, just to paint the picture, yes, Will, good. And then we get out to Jack there, brilliant, hold it there. Now this is the bit where you get the 50, 60 million pound players. Do you strike? Have you got one of them where you've got a little disguise because Nathan, made, Nathan might have taken Matt Burgess away, Ed comes across a line, but we might play one of them, brilliant. Okay, that's the breaking of the last line, but don't be afraid, Jack, if it's here, to do what? What are we, 10 yards out, 12 yards out? Don't be afraid to shoot. But it becomes again that we looked at in there about 
risk or so if I'm about to shoot and I've got Simon coming up my backside and I'm off balance is it a good idea might I go do you know what I might Simon come and get it 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 and I might manipulate him round brilliant yes and then I might shake the shoe but Ed might make that little run in there and we get him in and he might finish or we might just do what he wants yeah happy happy play Gone off, gone off. Start with Toby, please. The white cones, mate, that's why they're there. Max, which half are you in? Good feet, Jack. Good save, Toby. Good decision, Matt. Well done. Good decision. Like it, Jack. Just look after that technique. Good idea. Unlucky. Play from your toes. Could save again, Toby. Toby's on a clean sheet bonus. Clever. Really well played, clever. Okay, up there. Jack, you won't mind me saying this. Jack's had two shots in the space of probably 30 seconds, both gone over the bar, yes? Agreed? Problem or not a problem? Not a problem, why? Because that's the whole point of the session, yes? The whole point is now we're looking at breaking lines first third, middle third, now we're looking at breaking lines final third. So for us to break that final line, we're going to have to do what? Shoot. But if you were the coach now, what would you say to Jack? Maybe try something different, how would you try something different? So rather than your two, you've shaped up and really drove through and they've gone over the bar. So we'd say, look at his technique, or we might say, try something different. What do you like? The old Thierry finesse on refinish, yeah? Might be that next time. Also, this time, you had one in there. What did you do? Turn down the shooting opportunity. The whole point is to do what? Break the last line. Let's go, let's play. Break the last line. Play out. Good Marley, well done, unlucky. Play Tobes. Max, Max, leave the ball, come here. If you had yourself set, you'd be able to paint the picture there rather than receiving it close and turning it into trouble. I know you weren't expecting it, but what would I tell you to do? What am I going to tell you to do? Expect it. So you weren't set, ready. Get yourself ready as soon as the ball's in play. 
Can we help the person on the football? Think about it. Too nice to you there, Reggie and I. Play. Movement off the football. That's how we're going to help them. Save again, Tobes. Marley, are you creeping into their half by any chance? I caught you. Good. Just one thing, I just want to paint a picture of tactically a little bit more in depth is if you stand here, Yellow, yeah, the strikers, what's going to happen? You're going to close space. So, no one's mentioned about offsides. Are we going to play offsides? Yeah, we can. But even with you doing this, what's it going to have an effect on the Reds? They're going to come a little bit, aren't they? And if they don't come and Will stays there, then you just play off his shoulder. So, is that one coming? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, brilliant. Happy? Goes for you two and then goes for you two up here as well. Yes? Try and stretch the game a little bit. Give the boys a bit of space. Because if you have space there, what are they going to do with it? Gents, relax. If they have space there, what are they going to do with it? Get a chance to finish. Play. Good movement, Reg. Great shift, Simon. Play, Alex. Done, Nathan. Jack, Jack. Change it up. So stop hanging out on the right and getting that one open out and shooting. So then you get a different shooting opportunity. And next time you get a shooting opportunity, have the aim to make sure it's what? Make, yeah, just make sure it hits the target. But change your angles. Don't keep coming from there all the time. Rotate, yeah? Stay here, see what happens. Stand here, see what happens. Good choice to press, Ed. Well done. Might want to go with him, Nath. Don't let him do it on his own. Good idea. Unlucky, Nath. Good little shift. Play off the shoulders. Will, Will, don't rush in there. Playing blind. Don't play blind. Oh, Lino's was thinking about it, but I think just on side. Well done. Shot across, Matt. Well done, Marley.
Okay, relax. So what lines are we breaking then? What? The goal line's one, yeah. So if you think of the lines you've broken as an individual now or as a team, and you drew a, draw, drew them on hit on the pitch, that's obviously one, isn't it? That's visual because you can't go into that half. What about any more lines? There's lines being broken all the time. Perfect example was Marley then, who just drove through. He drove, picked the ball up there, didn't you? And drove straight through the middle. Well, he's broke that line. He's about, he breaks that line when he passes the ball. Does that make sense? So for you to break lines, we need you to think in which direction? Forwards, yes? Keep thinking forwards. Go on, out loud, play. Last two minutes. Stay there, just stand still. Stand still. Take care of the techniques, come on. Play from Alex. Good movement, Nath. <laughs> Only a matter of time, wasn't it? Yes? Simon, lovely young man. Make him pay. Make him pay for those mons, Max. In you come. In you come. Three or five? Give me a number. Three. Three. Three key things that has gone on from that session to this session about breaking lines. Choosing the right time. So if we put that under the umbrella of choosing the right times and risk and rewards is what you mean, yeah? What do you mean by that, though? Um, so you know when to like, pass it through or shoot. Yeah. So take the shackles off. Don't be afraid to go and change the game by dribbling or passing. And actually, when we did do that, when we introduced it in there and we looked at it in here, what happens? What happens? We create more opportunities. Yes, you might turn the ball over a bit more, but if no one's going to take a risk, then... We're not going to get anywhere, are we? We're just going to keep going sideways, which we did a little bit in there. And that was why we started with that game. Is if you just keep going sideways, 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 we're not going to get anywhere. The aim of the game on Sunday is to do what? Put the ball in the back of the net. To do that, we need to go in which direction? Good. That's one. Two more. Yep, so you pass, dribble, shoot. But to be able to do that before the ball arrives on your doorstep, brilliant. You need to do what? Paint a picture. So you're always scanning. So we had one with you in there, if you, don't, you won't mind me saying in front of the boys, is you weren't ready for it because it was out and you just, and you just received the ball and, like, and before you know it, Nathan's on top of you and he tackles you. So you're asking for, for the ball, why? Why are you asking for the football? Because you know what you're going to do with it. Not because you just want to kick it. You know exactly why you're asking for the football. So I know that I'm going to drop Jack short here so he's going to come this way to suck Alex in because he's going to set me and I'm going to get Marley in behind. Two, one more. Movement. What do you mean? Brilliant. So if we're going to play forwards, if we're going to take risks, we need help from others. So for us to play between lines and in pockets, I need people to do what? Move and find those little pockets of space. Yeah? If the ball doesn't move quickly from side to side, what's going to happen? Or forwards and backwards? They're, they're, yeah, they're going to sit in the block and they're going to creep. So then we might have to go over. What's the problem going over? What's, it takes a long time in the air and people can then do what? Press. So if we don't move it quickly, we won't be able to go through, around, 
we'll have to go over, which sometimes works and it's good and we want you to try that. But the best ones are if you move it quickly, their shape happens to do what? Shift and then one person switches off, then there becomes a happy? Brilliant. Well done. I need all the kit picked up, please. Let's go. Well done.